my hair oh my god Hi, so today I'm back with a What's On My iPhone video. The last one I made was in March, which is not that long ago, but the reason why I wanted to remake one is because, first of all, I got a ton of comments about the audio being super quiet, <laughs> and it's because I was inexperienced at the time and I didn't know how to make videos, and I didn't know how to check the volume. And then the second reason is because, well actually that's it, it's because that video was not good, and it somehow got a lot of views, which is a good thing, but I want to be known by a better video you know oh, i want to make another one you'll actually find out that a lot of things in my phone has changed I have this camera here so you can see what i'm showing i'm not just gonna include a screen recording because um exporting the screen recording from my phone to my laptop is a fucking nightmare and i'm not about to do that so we're gonna get into my phone or should i show you my phone cases okay i should because it's because it's it's fun. So I have these folding cases. You can probably see it up there. These two are from Wildflower. This is from Recorda Factory and this is the official Apple one. The case I have on here is also the official Apple one. It's very... it's got a lot of scratches. I actually like this one a lot but it's kind of thick. And this is kind of yellowing. It's kind of sad. I actually have another one from the Recorda Factory but it's in my studio. It's the Ocean Aquatic one. I'll insert a screenshot if I have. I think if I can find them. And then I have these two that I like very much. Okay, so now we're gonna get into my phone. This is my lock screen. It's Mimi. No surprise here. I actually always used to make these lock screens like with the photo minimized and then the color background back in the days. And then I just revived this style for some reason. Then this, I showed you how to get this wallpaper. I showed you how to get it in my last video, the Get Productive For Me video. So here we have Spotify, Chrome, Twitter, and TikTok. I didn't used to always have Twitter on here, but recently, I'll show you. I'll show you my recent searches I have all these. So that's why I have Twitter on there because I have to like constantly check for updates. Let's see if they have anything updated. Oh my god. They won first place. Going on. And then moving on, I mean. And then I have Chrome. And then I also searched up um, Flower Tea, the lyrics of Flower Tea because I was trying to sing it and then I'm also trying to learn Korean from the lyrics from of this song and I have Spotify Legend Kings if you ask me they this is the song this is the era that I stand to them I have all these playlists you can check them out how do I show my name? scan this if you wanna check out my Spotify I'm gonna try to make more like playlists. I actually have an automation set from If This Then That IFTTT and it automatically adds songs when I add them. So I have all have all these time specific playlists and folders because I have monthly playlists going on. And then if you go into the main one, you can see that they're just all on my girl. And then in the tick tick thing, I am so obsessed with this app. This is the perfect app. I'm not even trying to brag. So now I'm filming so I'm gonna Take this and I haven't cleared the trash can today. A great feature to have is this Pomodoro one because you can set the task you're doing and then count how much time you've been spending on it. It's kind of fun if you ask me and it tells you to have breaks, to take breaks. They also have this function on their desktop version. Um, me being me, I never stop when I, once I start things. I don't usually start things, I usually am very lazy but once I start things, I cannot stop. So they tell me to like take a break for five minutes after like 45 minutes of editing i'm just like no that i have this habit thing today i study this one this page let me show you guys this page it's so pretty and actually someone asked me what this app is and it is tick tick and someone left me a comment on my last what's my video on why i try when i poop and i just want to say that's none of your business and it's for health reasons so then they also have these kind of tags i have this tag of causeway bay so if i have to go out for some reason i can just check this tag to see if i need to do anything else there so i can just get them all done in one day you know queen of efficiency i also have the monthly calendar view and then the today view in the widget so i can like check it so then I have weather up here 
I don't usually check it. I just like to keep the first row of apps as the default Apple apps because my hands are small. I can't really reach it. So if I put my most used apps on there, I just I cannot reach it. Then I have clock here for alarms. I have this here to immediately see what day it is. Then I have photos. I always check my photos because I have a lot of Mimi pictures. Also, if you're a fan of Oh My Girl and you bought their album and you have this photo card, can you <laughs> if you have this card can you please give it give it please i i want it i need it so yeah i have photos i also have shared albums with my sister we share photos of Fagi. then i have whatsapp and then i have instagram speaking of I think y'all should follow me because we've been stuck here for a long time. Granted, I was not posting. You know why? Because I did not go out. I did not. I didn't have hair. And also, I don't respond to DMs from my friends. So I just turned off the badge counter on here. Then I have my bank app, and then I have my period app, which is scarily accurate. Wait, why did I not input any data? I need to input it, or else I'm gonna not have an accurate prediction and then i have muda one of my favorite apps i love muda so today is 14th and then i'm feeling how am i feeling I'm feeling kind of nice done this is the longest i've ever used a diary mood tracking app this is scary guys this doesn't usually happen see i've used this since september and apart from the first two months I've used it, I've used it every single day. This is scary. And I wish they'd come up with more themes like this one. Because this one is the cutest. But then they never did. But they came up with more emotions though. Like in the past, they just only had this, these five. But now they have 10 and the pink one is so cute. That's how I feel about Mimi. That's why in the beginning of May, you see a consecutive three days of me feeling memefied. You see it like this, it's just so, it's just so like satisfying. And then I have a recent favorite productivity app. It's called ClickUp. It's kind of a collaborative productivity project management app, but I work alone, so I don't have anyone to like work with until maybe I earn enough money from YouTube to hire Yvette to become my editor or something. But for now, I'm working alone. So I'm, I'm gonna show you how I organize my videos, guys. So I have all these archived videos up here. I have arch archived stuff. These are all my posted videos, and I tracked all my CPM and stuff there. And then the Get Productive With Me video that I just pro posted is in the Publish tab instead of the archived one because the CPM for this video is not up yet, so I've, I have to update it before I put it into archive. Then In Progress, which is this one, and then you can see that I actually planned this video for June. Then I'm planning to do um, Getting Monetized on YouTube Beginner Tips, and then 19 Things I Learned in 19 years for my 19th birthday that I have all the other video ideas I also use this to organize my art commissions but I'm not gonna show that because obviously there are some like private information but yeah I really like this app I tried out so many project management apps and this is the only one that is like intuitive enough because when you plan the task within the projects you can assign a due date in it and then it automatically syncs with your google calendar and then it also shows up in my tick tick so it's just so it's so it's a fan this works so well and then i have two bird which is which is uh, an email app i use it because it's uh, it's interface is pretty and also i that day i felt a sudden need to organize my emails so that's why i explored a lot of email apps and then this is what i ended up choosing and then i have tally i use this to track when fake he pooped and peed and ate yeah this just tracks how many how many times you've done something and then i have kindle i've been reading so little lately it's not a fun time but i bought house moving castle by mistake i was actually just browsing on amazon on the kindle store but i activated buy with one click and then i just clicked it and then i have good notes five i actually just studied it'll probably be included in a vlog or something but yeah i studied korean I'm proud of myself and then i have blocky time i use this to block my time obviously i mean keep track of when i worked as you can see i spend a lot of time on sleeping and entertainment and also work lately but yeah i have to track my time or else i just don't do anything and then i also have coin which i'm not gonna get into but it tracks your 
income and no actually you have to input the data but the interface is pretty so i i chose it then i have settings i have it out because for some reason i always need to look for settings in one day i will have to click into settings once or twice so i don't know why and then i have these apps i have phone messages snapchat which i haven't been on in since 2020 i think I haven't replied to any of my streaks All people think I'm dead probably Unless they're subscribed to my YouTube channel <laughs> Okay, and then I have another bank app Another bank app Another bank app Then app store When I am free or when I cannot sleep I will go on the app store to look for apps to download Because new apps are just exciting, you know And then I have Octopus which recharges my octopus card which is a transit card you can use to take the bus or subway or pay for food get it and then i have costar which i haven't been tr checking lately it, it's just been giving me daily notifications and then i read the quote and I'm like oh cool this is my zodiac chart I don't know what it means, but it might explain why I'm so insane in a lot of ways. And then I have the Gmail app, which I hit here because I, as I said, I have the, um, the Tuber app. And then I have Notion, which is the app I used before. So it has a lot of information on my job and productivity, but I don't use it now. So I hit it here. And then I have all the work related apps that I'm not going to get into. They all have desktop versions so i prefer to use the desktop versions so i don't use them on my phone and then i have entertainment i don't use any of these apps except for fee live and time page you shouldn't be here hello this is a korean translation app this this is actual actually fun this is called letterboxd and this tr lets you track which movies you've watched and what your rating is for them this is so fun like i don't know why i spent an entire day rating my films and i rated a hundred and something films then i have song shift this shifts your songs from spotify to apple music which i do very often as y'all might know but i'm actually on a few months of spotify right now i'm kind of proud of myself for not switching and then i have all the apple apps that i'm not gonna get into then i have youtube which i'm which i should put in this page because i use it so often actually no because i don't want to use it often i need to cut down my time if you check my screen time it's not a fun time i spent like 12 hours a day on youtube because i work and then i watch youtube and then i i sleep and then i watch youtube you know i have to have youtube on in order to fall asleep <laughs> and then i have youtube studio which our last video is actually doing really well so i'm thinking of doing like these videos like get get productive with me working studying vlogs as a regular thing like i may i might upload them weekly and then compile my week's worth of content into one video and then just upload them regularly and then have another day to upload some other type of content like this one that's what i might do i don't know you tell me bitch and then i have netflix some show recommendations devil man crybaby kingdom tiger king i haven't watched tiger king yet not prepared for it i know it's a lot so you have to watch all the ghibli films but out of all the ghibli films i really really recommend the tales from earth sea earth sea tales from earth sea it is so good you have to watch it it's kind of an existential magic life and death theme movie and it's fun and it's terrifying when i was in primary school i used to go to the library with my mom often and my sister and then i read mangas and then i read the manga of this movie and it terrified me and if you watch it you will understand why because the villain is not a vibe i mean she is a vibe but the, not the vibe i'm looking for <laughs> and then another movie that i also really like is nino kuni it is a really really simple the plot is really simple it's nothing complicated but the animation is Good. it's just a cute concept like it's just an a fun time to have if you have time then obviously just watch all of them um i also really like howl's moving castle the tale of print of the princess kaguya freaked me out the animation is so freaky if you if that's what you're into and then i have disney plus and you might be asking don't you live in hong kong why do you have disney plus see it is not available don't tell disney <laughs> I have it and then I am recently watching Phineas and Ferb I am trying to finish all four seasons of Phineas and Ferb and then I'm gonna start Simpsons and I'm gonna watch all 30 something seasons and then I have Deliveroo which I used to order food oh my god you're gonna see my location now I used to order food because we stay at home a lot 
nowadays and no offense to food panda but food panda's service is shit so that's why i have delivery and then i have sf express which is for delivery that have nintendo switch y'all should add me and then send me stuff how do y'all add me um, i'm gonna insert my friend code here i mainly use this app to like chat with my friends on animal crossing but i haven't played animal crossing in so long and then i have tetris i spent an embarrassing amount of time on tetris it is not good it gives me so much stress but also i feel like my brain needs a little bit of like exercise you know oh my god what did i do because it's not moving very much Fuck! what did i do that y'all calling me a noob and then i have duolingo the bird that wants to murder you i haven't been on here for a couple of days okay let's try let's try one lesson Penang. Penang. 추워요. It is cold. It is cold outside. 걔는 아이 옆에 앉아요. 걔는 the dog sits next to the man. <laughs> my 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 the, the child. Oh my god. Why did I think why did I think man? So that's how it works. I always press the wrong thing. Like I in one sentence I might press I might miss the word the or ah uh, or uh and then I just get zero marks and then I get so and then I have this Animal Crossing folder. I have this animal guide thing that shows me all the prices of the insects and animals. And then I have all these <laughs> Oh, here's my friend code. And me. You can also calculate your turnip prices on here, which is a good thing because I'm not good at maths. And then I can make friends on here, which is also something I need to do because I have no friends. And then I also have this Animal Crossing New Horizons exchange app, which is for exchanging. And then you can like trade turnips and stuff. Okay, so I have these, these two apps that I don't use very often because as I said before, I don't play Animal Crossing as much now. Because I got into terraforming and then I just got so tired of it because it's so hard. Okay, then I have Lightroom. I just edit my photo photos. And the good thing is that it syncs with the, the Lightroom on my laptop because I have the Creative Cloud. It syncs. And then I have Timely, which is cool because it actually works with an application that you download on your laptop that is called Memory. And then it automatically tracks what applications you have been using and tracks all the pages, tabs you have open on google chrome or what you're working on in final cut pro etc and then you can just group them all into one project and then you can just know how much time you spent on a project and you can also assign them to clients and then you can also set a budget or how much money you're supposed to earn from this project so yeah you can see that i spent five hours on youtube spotify logic pro and final cut on learning how to sing internally and then the last thing is i have voice memos all these failures of recordings i have a lot of them from when i did um music festival competitions in hong kong and i recently just found this recording of when i did competitions and it's so nostalgic it's such a good song you won't recognize my voice this is me Okay, so that's that. Ooh, I also have these things. This is two years ago. So I have that here because I originally had it deleted and then I just re-downloaded it for the Eternally video and then I just kept it here. And then because of the emotional like nostalgic factor i kept it here so yeah that is it for my phone isn't it cute guys oh my god it looks kind of cute with my nails <laughs> so yeah that is it for my phone ignore this little friend thank you for watching this video i will probably like this video a lot more than the last one because in the last one it's kind of messy I'm not saying this is super organized but um the last video didn't even have audio so that's why this video will infinitely be superior and then also this has my face in it see you next video
had journeyed on and sang this song in search of El Dorado. In search of El Dorado. It is 11.